Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to securely share your documents using Orange Docs. First thing you're going to want to do is go to orangedocs.com and hit get started. Next, you're going to want to sign in with your Google Drive account. By doing so, we're going to sync your entire Google Drive with Orange Docs. There is no need to upload files to Orange Docs. We'll automatically pull them from your Google Drive. Next, hit the uh, share app and then select share file. We'll have two different options here. One is secure and track and one is track only. We'll go ahead and choose secure and track. Next, we're going to want to go ahead and choose the file from our Google Drive. Again, there is no need to upload files to Google Drive to Orange Docs. We automatically pull them from your drive. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and set the file. In this case, our venture contact list that we're going to share. Then we have the choice of whether or not we want to allow people to download the file. If they want to print or save it on their computer, you can allow them to do that. Otherwise, you can disable downloading. This ensures the file can only be viewed using our secure browser, which prevents people from sharing the file without your knowledge. Finally, we'll go ahead and choose the recipients that we'd like to send this file to. Don't worry, you can go ahead and update these later, so you don't have to choose everyone right now. Finally, we can go ahead and confirm that we want to send an access email to these particular uh, recipients. Once we hit confirm there, Orange Docs automatically emails these recipients with an access email. There's no need for you to go ahead and email them directly. Once they do receive the access email, they'll be able to go ahead and select the file. Once they do, they're going to be prompted as to whether or not they want to open this particular file on this device. Note that for each access email, you can only open it on one device. In this case, it would be limited now to this person's phone or laptop. So once we hit confirm device, the user will only be able to view it on this particular browser. Meaning that if the user goes back and forwards this email to somebody else, this link will not work for that person. It will only work on this device. Don't worry, I can show you a little later how you can go ahead and send them another access email in case they want to open it somewhere else. So here we can see we have our confidentiality agreement. Note also we have our custom branding, which is another video I can show you how to do that. And notice that we are not able to download or print this particular file. If you go back to Orange Docs, we can now see that we have this particular uh, file has been sent and we can go ahead and manage the access even after it's been sent. So in this case, we can add new recipients if we want to, or we can enable disable access. So if we disable access now, this particular user will not be able to access the file. We can also resend access. So as I mentioned before, if a particular user, say, open it on their phone and they realize, oops, I actually want to go ahead and review it on my laptop, you can go ahead and resend another access email to them and they can go ahead and open it on a new device. You can also get metrics, so we can see specifically which user has viewed what. So in this case, our demo account has viewed the document uh, one time, and they've looked at two different pages of this particular document. You can also get the information on what day they looked at it, and right down to which hour they looked at it. And this gives you a quick overview of how you can securely share your documents using Orange Docs. You can also go to our help menu and get the same information uh, there with the step-by-step -step instructions of what I just did in this tutorial. Thanks.